Welcome back to Unbox Analysis, guys. Today we're going to be doing our part two of our Temu haul. So that's going to be our little handheld video game systems. I like this guy. I have no idea what to expect from these, but I picked up a few of them just so I could check them out and give you guys an idea. When I got my Temu bag, you can see that the boxes were all pretty smashed. So, looking at the boxes, <laughs> who knows? Has it made it? Let's jump in and find out. All right, we'll start out with this guy here. This is called the Game Box Plus. This is pretty much how it came, so let's get into it. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like this one has some kind of video output. Looks like I'll have to set up a TV when we test this guy out. Next up, we have a little controller. That's about the quality you would um, expect. It weighs about as much as the cable, so. But if it works, it could be pretty neat, so we'll see. Right. Got ourselves a little user manual. It's called the Retro FC in here. So a couple different names so far between the box and the unit. Okay. And inside we have what looks like a little tiny old school Game Boy. Not bad though. In the back we have a opening. For a battery. Now this box doesn't have a battery in it, but I did find this in the bottom of our bag. So I'm gonna guess this goes in here. So let's just let's just see if she powers up. Oh we're we're on and going. Okay. Alright, so we have two menus here. We have English and Chinese. So you can see we've got Super Mario 14, Mario 3, Dr. Mario. I imagine these are not going to be the legit ones. Let's try it out. Holy crap. Okay, this actually looks like the real game. I did not expect that. I expected some weird knockoffs. All right. It's got one single speaker right here. Decent sound, actually, for what it is. I mean, this thing's... That's pretty neat. Okay, we got this thing connected up to the TV, and <laughs> honestly, from what I'm seeing, this, this is pretty neat. Okay, right into our first issue. It looks like the remote is not working. I'm not seeing any other place to plug it in. It plugs in through micro USB. So we can't quite use this one, it seems. I'll give it a couple more tries here. Nope, no go. Let's see if we can still use this guy. Looks like we can still use the handheld for the remote. Let's give it a try on the TV, see how it looks. Pretty responsive. Mike, I think this is actually a full emulator for all of these games. I never claim to be good at a game I haven't played in 15 years. So overall, this thing has 400 games on it. Anything from Super Mario Bros. to Contra, you just press right on the D-pad here and you click right through all of them. I mean, we'll, we'll go through and try a different one here. Let's try Donkey Kong 1. Oh, no. Apparently, pressing B takes you ahead by 40. Okay, now I'm curious. It has Angry Bird. But does it work? And is this easily worth the price? Yeah, I think that's a pretty easy bet there. Overall, this first one here, it's cool. Downside, controller didn't work. Good news though, that gives us a chance to test out the Tema return policy and kind of see what they'll do for it. 
I mean, that's a pretty big functionality to this guy. So let's, I'll reach out to Temu and kind of see what they want to do about a partially broken unit. This is a good chance to test this out and see how the returns or warranty type things work. Now, considering the price, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't really do anything, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and give it a shot. Let's get on to the next unit. The next unit has a very, very similar looking box. It says 400 to 1, but the words, a couple different words. This one has a branding on it, STP for SUP. I'm guessing that's the company that copied the brand. Again, the box, not looking great, but let's get into it. We'll check it out. We'll see how this one compares to the last one. I imagine they're going to be pretty similar overall. Yeah, starting right off. We have the RCA to aux jack, same micro USB charging cable, and the same battery. Now the user manual looks a little bit different, but basically the same. Let's throw the battery in and we'll take a look and see if this one's any different from the other version. So far they look pretty identical, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're exactly the same thing. Yep, as expected, they are absolutely identical in every way. Now, if you guys are interested in getting one of these, you can use my links down below. They're going to be affiliate links that will help out the channel. Um, but on that same note, I'm going to be giving away um, a couple of these. Haven't decided which ones yet, but the giveaway is not going to be in this video. It's going to be in the next video. We're still waiting for the results of the previous giveaway. If you guys missed that, go check out last week's video. We've got about six or seven more days until I pick the winner for that one. But on that note, not really much to show with this guy other than a different look. They are overall exactly the same in every possible way except for the color. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, this one's got a little bit different style here. This one is a bigger color screen possibly with I don't know. It says right here we have HD ready USB and SRS wow HD sound. Not sure how much I believe in the wow sound, but let's check it out. All right, start out with the game manual. Another USB cable. This is USB type B instead of micro. And then we have some what are undoubtedly high quality earbuds. Actually, that's a pretty nice looking color overall. That's, that looks pretty good. I will say the first thing I noticed on the back, it says 8G, not quite sure what that means. Looks like we have a single speaker in the back, no stereo. Also the case, I don't know if you guys can see this here, the case is kind of coming apart a little bit. It's about what you would expect. Now, I didn't notice this one also has a microphone port. I'm not really sure what that's going to be used for. And then the bottom, we have a micro SD card slot right here, which already has a card in it. Let's pop that out and see what size it is. That is, in fact, an 8 gigabyte micro SD card that comes with it. All right, let's fire it up and see how she looks. Got a little blue indicator light showing that it's on. Screen's coming up. Hmm. All right, we'll get this in front of the camera and check it out. So, like on our menu sheet, we have games, video, music, ebook, file browser, record, and picture. That's interesting. Maybe we'll have to record some audio on here and test. <laughs> I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's amazing. Okay, here's our game list. Mario is missing, Mario early. Um, I don't remember how many games this one said it had. I'm not sure if it did say how much it really had. Let's just fire one up and see how she looks. The screen doesn't look too bad. Nothing impressive, but it's not bad. This one's called the X20 Mini, it looks like. Game loading time, a little slower than the rest. A 
Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I've never played this. So if you guys have played this, just kind of let me know how it looks in the bottom. Overall, going through this one here, it seems to have a whole bunch of different options for games. Uh, SFC, MD, NES, one of them, this is MAME, which are a bunch of zip files. Not quite sure what that is. Then you have Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color. The sound coming from this one little speaker in the back is actually pretty solid. I mean, this thing, being cheap, you know, if you're just looking for something cheap for your kids to play with or just you to use to get some old retro gaming in. This thing's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I would recommend this. The build quality, it's what you expect, you know? It's pretty cheap, but it works. The screen doesn't look too bad. It has the option to play music, videos, calculator, pictures, sound recorder, and a whole bunch of different games from Yu Yu Hakusho to The Punisher. I mean, there's just, there's a lot going on here for the price. Yeah, check this out. This thing's pretty cool, and uh, I would recommend this. Okay, moving on to the last one here. Okay, so this one is a 620 in 1 Plus. It's got a little bit of a different design. This box wasn't smashed at all. Starting inside, we have another controller, another micro USB controller. We'll see if maybe we can get this one to work test it out. I wonder if this one will also connect to the TV. We'll see. So we'll say that first one being able to connect to the TV. Pretty cool. The cables they give with you, a little bit short, but it wouldn't be too hard to buy an extension for it. So there's the controller. Neat look to it. A little better build quality than the first one, but still, you know, she's going to be pretty cheap, pretty mushy button, stuff like that. Next up, micro USB cable, probably for charging. And there it is, another cable for connecting this one to a TV. Then in the bottom here, we have a very, very similar and recognizable battery type from the first two. Um, I mean, there's a good chance this one's exactly like those two with just a different form factor. So that always is possible. All right, here's this one here. Looks a little bit different. Let's go ahead and pop the battery in, see how similar this one is. Oh, you know what, we can do this first here. Let's get a little, little peel action going. Okay, that's not the peel I expected. I don't know if you guys noticed what happened, but uh, the whole screen came off with the peel. <laughs> screen cover. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try that again. A little, okay, there we go. All right, screen's back in. Um, again, not too far from what you would expect. Now, I did notice the power slider on top and the rest of the button layout seem very similar to these guys here. Let's check it out either way. Okay, starting screen's a little different. <clears throat> Let's see, we've got English, Spanish, and Japanese. I will say that this screen looks way better than the first couple. This is much brighter. It's just, it's got a real clear look to it. Yeah, this is, this is much clearer overall. Well, brighter. Color saturation is not fantastic. But again, we're looking at really old games played on a really tiny machine. So this one doesn't have any kind of, um, expansion slot. I don't know if there's any way to load games or change anything, but for the price, I don't think you're going to want to. I think you're really just buying these for a fun little toy. So yeah, looking at what we have here and looking at the prices, overall, these are these are neat. This is cool. Um, I did get every one that I ordered from Temu. There was no issues with the orders. Um, again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, not the craziest video we've got going on here, but I thought it was a really cool review of these guys and checking them out. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These things are super cool. All right, so go check out last week's video. We're still doing the giveaway on that for another six days. 
Um, and I will be giving away a couple of these in the next video. I'm going to wait, let people get their comments in and whatnot, and we'll go from there. If you guys want to see future videos like this from Temu, Wish, or anybody else, let me know. Put it in the comments down below, and we'll go from there. Make sure to check out the affiliate link in below. You can save 30% off your entire first order from Temu using that link. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.